Hi everybody, it's Anne Emery with another Excel tutorial for evaluators. This video is about some general housekeeping skills, freezing panes. Now when I say housekeeping skills, here's what I mean. I've got my raw data down here, I haven't touched that, and I have my clean data. I haven't worked with it yet, so I would need to do some general housekeeping skills to get it ready before I recode my variables. So I like to make my entire first row bold, just so I can see it a little bit better, and I also like to freeze my panes, so that when I'm scrolling up and down, I want to be able to see my column headers the entire time. I like to have them there where I can see them. So just make sure your first row is selected. Click on uh, under the view tab, go to freeze panes, and click on freeze top row. So now when you scroll up and down you can still see what question it is, you can see all of your headers right there. Let's undo this for a moment. So what some people like to do is freeze their first column so that the ID numbers or the names or whatever type of information they have in column A is easy to see so that when they scroll back and forth they don't lose it. So just go back again to freeze panes, uh, make sure your column A is selected and you can freeze your first column. So now when you scroll back and forth, look, it stays steady right where you can see it. We'll undo this again, unfreeze panes. And what some people like to do is the best of both worlds. They like to freeze their columns and their rows. So just click on B2 or whatever the first cell in your table is. Go back to freeze panes, select the first option right here, and you can see it gives you a little clue. See this first cell is blue, B2. Click on this option, you'll see it adds some gray lines. See these weren't here before. That shows you where your panes are frozen. So when you scroll back and forth, your first column right here is frozen, and when you scroll up and down, your first header is frozen. It just makes your data a little bit easier to work with. I hope you enjoyed learning about freezing panes. Thank you.